in this video, I will be sharing with you guys 10 pieces of advice to help you quit your urge to want to buy new things. Number one, don't be easily manipulated. You guys know what the purpose of an ad is, right? It's to persuade you to buy something. Ads are literally designed to exploit your hardwired shopping behaviors. The goal of an ad isn't to show you anything useful or anything that you need. Its only purpose is to take your money. The ultimate goal of an ad is to make you feel like the things you have aren't good enough. You know, the clothes you have aren't good enough. The shoes you have, the car you have isn't good enough. There is always something better. They want to persuade you to buy whatever they're advertising. Also remember that the US economy depends on people spending their money. The government literally wants you to be an excessive consumer. Like they want you to buy things. They don't care if you're going broke. All they care is about taking your money. And the more I think about this, the more discouraged I feel to want to buy things because I'm just mad at the fact that it's true. Like I have been persuaded by ads to buy things that I do not need. Buying things is something that we're heavily encouraged to do. And at least for me, just being aware of that makes me think twice when I'm buying something. And I feel like if more of us really understood what the goals of ads are, maybe we, we wouldn't be as encouraged to want to buy whatever. Number two, realize having less stuff gives you more time. We spend so much time on items before even possessing them. I mean, just think about it. We don't make a decision to buy something in a couple seconds. I mean, sometimes we do, but for the most part, we'll take hours and or days or even weeks before we finally decide to buy something. And when you really think about it, this is all valuable time that could have been used for a more valuable activity, like exercising, working on a project, doing your homework that you're ignoring, I don't know, working on a hobby. Of course, there are some purchases that require you to take time to think about. I mean, like if you're getting a car, you probably shouldn't do that purchase in a couple hours. But my point is just buying things takes a lot of time, you guys. Having more things also means you need to make more time for organizing, cleaning, and maintaining these items. You need to ask yourself if it's worth having them. Number three, be aware that buying stuff won't bring long-term happiness. Sure, it's exciting to buy new things, but how long does the happiness and that excitement really last? I don't know you guys, but I've been keeping track of all the things that I buy and I'm always thinking that after this one purchase, I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna feel really good. And to my surprise, I'll be happy for maybe a couple hours, maybe a couple days, even a week maybe at most, and then I'm back to feeling unsatisfied. You shouldn't be buying things with the intention of them bringing you happiness, because it will not last. You should be buying things because you need them. In my opinion, the short-term happiness that materialistic items bring into my life is definitely not worth their expensive price. I learned that buying things wasn't gonna make me happy after I bought a lot of stuff. Like it takes experience to really realize, you know what, buying things isn't going to make you happy. Number four, learn to stop caring about what people think. A lot of the time, we'll just buy things to impress other people. I think not a lot of us are aware that we do this. It's important not to buy things just to seek others' approval. Like, a lot of times, we won't be buying things because we truly want them. We'll be buying them because everyone else is buying them. Or we'll buy them because someone else is going to find that cool and we think that's going to benefit us in some way. We will overspend on clothing just so someone will give us a compliment. Sometimes we'll be pressured to constantly buy things because we wanna upkeep a certain reputation or status, if you guys know what I mean. I don't know if this goes for everyone, but I've definitely seen people in my extended family who make like decent income and they'll constantly buy things just to you know, prove to others that they make good money like they're not buying the things because they want them, but they're buying them just so other people are like, wow, they have money to buy that. And all I know for sure is that people who don't care about what people think are buying less stuff, okay, you guys? I'm pretty sure there is research to back this up, okay? Once you stop caring about what people think, I promise you, you're gonna start buying less things and it's not even gonna require effort. You're just gonna realize that you don't actually want a lot of stuff that you thought you did. Number five, no great deals will always come around. 
Many times we'll justify our constant shopping because these items were a once in a lifetime deal or opportunity. You know, we just had no other choice but to buy it. This is what companies want you to think. They want you to think that if you don't take advantage of the sale going on right now, if you don't take advantage of that low price on that item that you want right now, you're never gonna find this opportunity again. I hope you know by now that that is all a lie. It is just a tactic to get you to spend. To my knowledge, there is no such thing as a once in a lifetime deal or opportunity. There are so many things on this planet, you guys. I promise you, you will find a good deal or an item for a good price again. If you see items on the Facebook marketplace at an extraordinary price, maybe you find some Nike sneakers that are like 200 bucks and you find them for like $30, these are things that we like to call gems or whatever. There are a lot of gems, okay, you guys? It's okay if you miss out on buying these shoes. Don't use like a low price or a good deal as a justification to just keep buying things. Because I mean, the overall purpose of getting things on sale or whatever is because you want to save money, right? But if you're just, you know, accumulating a bunch of things that you got on sale or for cheap, it kind of defeats the purpose because you're still buying a lot of stuff, which means you're still spending a lot of money unless you're getting these things for like a penny each. But still, you guys get what I'm trying to say. Don't overbuy stuff just because you think you won't find that deal again. You will. Number six, care about the environment and the exploitation of people. The more we shop, the more emissions we use, whether that's from the packaging you receive your item in or how it's shipped. If you didn't already know, all this pollution caused by manufacturing has a very negative impact on the environment. It's also really tempting to want to ignore the reality of the people who make our items, especially clothing. These people, including kids and especially women, are working under terrible conditions and getting paid almost nothing. Next time you're thinking about purchasing something unnecessary, think about how that negatively impacts the environment and other people. It's hard to only purchase from ethical companies when there really isn't any. However, what you can do is limit the amount of things that you buy. Number seven, practice gratitude. A lot of us are constantly buying things because we're not content with what we have. We find the things that we have boring. We don't really see the value in them. But do you guys know how lucky we are to have the things that we own? Just imagine all the things that you have right now just disappeared. You would be sad. Yeah, maybe it's not the end of the world, but you would be sad. I am a firm believer that once you truly learn to appreciate the things that you have and what they do for you, you'll be less tempted to buy things. Also remember that being grateful isn't something easy. It's something that requires effort and it's a choice to be made. Number eight, ask yourself if buying things is holding you back from being your best self. A lot of times we'll go shopping, especially for clothes, with this idea to reinvent ourselves. You know, we want to try a new aesthetic, we want to try a new style, maybe we want to buy a new room decor for our room, we want to have like this new fresh start. And I'm all for it, you know, sometimes all you need is a different clothing style, maybe some new shoes to kind of get your self-esteem going, but... A lot of people think that just by changing your outfit or buying things like will make them feel better. And again, things do not bring happiness. And I think a lot of us are also buying things with the idea that it's going to solve our problems. And you guys, this is not good. Yes, it's okay to make a couple purchases, especially, you know, maybe you had a breakup and you want to change the sheets that you have. You want to get some new ones. Of course, that makes some sense. But what I'm trying to say is don't get too fixated on all these little purchases that you think are going to make your life so much better. Don't ignore the things that you need to do that will actually bring real changes and improvement to your life. The real changes needed to grow as a person involve going out of your comfort zone and facing your fears, which might be socializing, public speaking, or having to face the fact that you really dislike your job. Sometimes we'll get caught up with buying things just to distract ourselves from having to face the things that actually need our attention. Number nine, invest time in a hobby or interest. We like to buy things because it makes us feel good. It can be hard to find something that is just as interesting as shopping, but I promise you guys it is possible. Take the time to pursue an interest outside of shopping. Preferably you wanna invest your time into a hobby or an interest that isn't taking your money like shopping is. When I got more invested in my YouTube channel and exercising, I started shopping less. And that's because I found something other than shopping 
that's fun and that I want to invest my time into. When you're spending a lot of time on a hobby or on a different interest, you don't have as much time to think about the next top you want to buy or anything like that. Finding something that you like to do is not easy. It takes time. You have to try out different things and ultimately you will find something that you're interested in. It doesn't have to be this major passion, but the key is just to find something that makes you feel good other than shopping. Number 10, stuff is simply not worth your money. How many times have you bought something only to be disappointed a couple days later? Many times, I assume. I don't know if it's just me, but a lot of the stuff that's being sold out there is not worth the price. The quality and the material of a lot of things that are being sold is nothing special. And the more you realize how cheaply made a lot of things are, or even the things that are quality and are just really overpriced, the more you're just like, mm, I don't really wanna buy this. I don't know, I'm not really tempted to buy things knowing that they're not worth the price. Why am I going to spend my hard-earned money on things that aren't contributing anything significant to my life? That finalizes the list. I hope you guys can see how empowering not buying things is. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.